All right, we're not going to go across to Tobago because coming up very soon is the Tobago Jazz Experience. And with me this morning is Chairman of the Tobago Festivals Commission, George Leacock. Good morning, George. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing very well. How are you, my, my friend? Good morning to you from Tobago. <laughs> You know, I always love linking up with um, Tobago to find out everything that's happening. And a big thing that's happening in Tobago very soon is the Tobago Jazz Experience. So tell me, what can we expect this year? Well, um, let me say good morning to your listeners. And we'll be looking at three days of activities. Jazz on the waterfront is back. Uh, and I think with the right mix of local artists, national artists, uh, and in particular, we're looking forward to a special tribute to the shadow because we will have Shaw and Bailey on one of those stages. Right. We also have Tobigonian Caleb Hart on another stage. This is a Tobigonian who's won a lot of awards in Canada with his, uh, his singing and that. Um, and then, of course, we're on to Saturday at Speyside for Caribbean Night where we have Imogen Company with Ola. Swahi oh, Ola, yes. <laughs> and Tuna. Um, I suppose I, I, I can say coming up against Dwayne Stevenson, Marcel Griffiths, and Busy Signal. I love really? a number of local acts filling out that afternoon. And then we are on the Pigeon Point on Sunday with Michael Bolton, Jack Rees, uh, Tony Braxton. Tony wow. Braxton is the most requested artists in the history of the jazz festival every time you look at all of the social media over the years all of the letters we've had coming to us the artists that people have been asking for is tony braxton um of course michael bolton multi times grammy award winner and then we have uh desperados we have Bonnet Big Fun, we have the tobago all-star band and tobago all-star band very interesting Compilation of largely young Tobagonians, including the incomparable Kashif Wilson and Buddha and Justin Peterkin, Justin Peterkin uh, a recent graduate of Berkeley College of Music. Uh, and Justin, just a um, very interesting Mr. No Problem guy, uh, ready to assist everybody else and all that. Uh, we are having a huge international stage and happy to be able to put the best of Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago on that stage as well. You know, that's really exciting. You have quite the lineup there that you have mentioned and, you know, it's definitely something to look forward to. Um, there's supposed to be a 500,000 advertising contract with Randy Glasgow. Tell us more about that. So the Tobago Festivals Commission is required to have a tremendous number of skill sets and a tremendous amount of capacity. And part we into getting the festival off the ground, we realized that we were falling behind in the area of marketing. And on an emergency basis, a decision was made. Um, on my recommendation, I take responsibility for it to engage the services of Randy Glasgow, not to receive five hundred thousand dollars as has been said but to assist us in the management of the spend of five hundred thousand dollars across all media platforms in trinidad and tobago thank you for updating us on that and um with this being said how, how do you see it improving um the marketing aspect of the tobago jazz experience well, I mean, uh, have you, you, you saw, I'm sure you would have seen, like everybody else, persons expressing concern that they won't get any information on a timely matter. And I can assure you that with the effect of Tuesday or so of last week, we've seen a huge turnaround in that. Uh, and we seem to be having some problems there with the sound at this point in time. We're going um, to have to cut it for now, but we will update you with all the information. I want to thank you, uh, Mr. George Leacock, Chairman of the Tobago Festivals Commission.